Hi everybody, this is Bobby with Bobby Stamps and I have my first card for my January free card packet that I'm going to share with you today. Um, I'm going to redo it on camera because um, when I did my design I got a little bit messy with my embossing powder so I'm not going to show you until the end the finished product. Um, so my card base is Rich Razzleberry and then I have a piece of Old Olive. And this one I actually embossed with the Layered Leaves Dynamic Impressions folder. So that is this folder here. And then I used a piece of Whisper White. This is about an inch thick. And I used the Triple Banner Punch to just make little um, flags on each end for the sentiment and then I used the layering ovals um, framelits to cut out a piece of daffodil delight um, I used the scallop for that one and then just the regular oval on a piece of whisper white and that's what we're going to stamp our image on and I am using the brand new um, in the occasions catalog friendships sweetest thoughts and I just I'm in love with this stamp set it just has some very beautiful sentiments and I just love the images on this stamp set. And then I'm going to use the um, our Stampin' Blends. I'm using the Old Olive and this is the dark and this is the light Old Olive. And then I'm using the light Rich Razzleberry and the dark Rich Razzleberry and then the Daffodil Delight. Um, this one is the dark. Okay, so I'm just going to put those out of the way and then I'm going to use copper embossing powder, my Versamark, and I'm not sure if I'm going to use the Rich Razzleberry or not. I don't, I don't think I am, but I, I got it out because the first design I stamped the sentiment in that, but on this one I do think I'm just going to emboss it um, and I'll show you here in just a second what we're going to do. So I'm just going to grab my embossing buddy. I always forget to use that and that it's um, kind of what happened with my design idea. Um, I had excess embossing powder where I did not want it. So I'm just gonna brush over that, get any fingerprints and things like that off and out of the way. And then I'm gonna take the image of the flower stand and I'm just going to ink that up really well in the Versamark. And then I'm just going to flip that over and just stamp that straight down. So um, this is what you'll receive if you spend $25 in my online store. You receive one of my free card packets. And if you spend 35, you receive two. And if you spend 50, you receive all three of them. So this is one of the card packets for January. So you would receive all the materials, the card stock. Um, I usually don't send the embellishments. Sometimes I do, um, but this one doesn't really have, we're not using any ribbon or I'm not using any pearls or anything like that. So this one, will just be the cardstock. So I'm just trying to make sure because this is such a tiny, tiny area that I am embossing. I'm just trying to make sure that where my fingers touch the edges that I'm not um, getting any of that off there. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that down, turn on the heat tool. And I would try to hold it up closer so you guys can see it, but where this is such a small piece of cardstock, I don't want to burn my fingers, so I'm just going to keep it here and be safe where I know I'm not going to get burnt. I'm 
just want to make sure that you have it all. You want to make sure you have it all. The heat, um, that it's all embossed before you stop. Okay, and now while the heat tool is still nice and warm, I'm going to go ahead and do the sentiment really quick. So I'm just going to ink that up in Versa Mark. Get it as centered as I can on my piece of paper. And as you can see, it's showing a little bit of the Rich Razzleberry. I tried to clean it really well before I did this, but it won't show through once we do the, the embossing. And I'll just cover that right up. And as you can see, I didn't use my embossing buddy, and right there's excess. Okay, I think that's going to be okay. Now, I'm going to take this little flower that comes with the stamp set, and I'm going to ink it up and just randomly, and I'm not going to do it in too many places, just like maybe four, four spots or so. We can always go back in if we want to. But then I'm just going to put some more of the copper embossing powder. I think I need to fill my copper powder back up. I just ordered some today, actually. So you just want to make sure that you have this covered really well because once you heat set it, you can't go back if you missed a spot. Okay, and I am going to add, I'm going to add one right here towards the bottom. And it's kind of hard. You can see where I'm putting my hands. Once you do this, it's kind of hard to see where you put it at. So you just really want to make sure that you're wherever you've touched. I see it wore it off right there, so I'm just going to go over that. And just kind of make sure. Okay, and I think that's good. We'll turn that back on. Oh, and it's gonna blow away. It was laying there so fine. just lay that out of the way and then we're going to bring this in close up my embossing powder okay now what I did in my first one um, the design I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see better what I'm talking about. My first design I did, I went over these, and I'm not going to do that in this one. Um, I'm just going to leave those like they are, but I am going to go in with the wide end and just color in the in-between. Because I left this down here 
the embossed and I just liked the way that that looked so okay so we'll do that and I'm gonna color my little bird yellow while I have the yellow out just get that little spot right there in his tail then I'm going to take the um, darker of the Rich Razzleberry and I'm going to color in the leaves or the petals I guess on this flower and this flower and then do the light of the Rich Razzleberry and color in these remaining petals on the remaining flowers. Okay, then I'm going to grab my um, old olive and just lightly go over these leaves just where they need to be filled in. You can basically just kind of like dot on them because there's not much area that um, you have to color in. Make sure you guys can still see me. Okay. Let's see if I missed any. And you could do that shading you know, if you want to do darker and lighter, but I'm not going to do that. Then down here where these little marks are for the grass, I'm just using the lighter of the old olive to just kind of give that the appearance that there's grass there. Get all the way that over to the side. Then... um. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to do um, the lighter of the Rich Razzleberry and just do the heart up there. Um, I thought about coloring in these little things here with the um, Rich Razzleberry, but I kind of like it like that. So I'm just going to leave that alone for right now. Put that over there. Then I'm going to bring in, and you can see I got a little bit of my embossing powder little flakes that's why that embossing buddy is so important and you have to remember to use it um, you could cover those up you could hide those with some pearls or gems or you know something like that um, but I'm just doing this for you guys for the demonstration so I'm not too worried about it this is just basically going to give you an idea um, for this card design and what you're going to receive from me in the free card packet. And then I'm just taking the Rich Razzleberry and doing the light and the dark again to color in my flowers. And I think that's still super cute even with, with that on there. Then I'm going to take the, I think I'm going to use the light and we're going to color in some of the leaves. And go over here and color that one in. I'm just trying to add pops of color on here. And I'm going to do the same thing with the dark. I'll just go in here and fill in some of these leaves. Side, and then we can start to put our card together. So if you want information on how you can receive the cardstock for the free card packets, you can visit my blog. It's bobbystamps.com. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. It seems like you guys are really close there. I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. And I like to use fast fuse whenever I've embossed. So that piece was embossed so that's what we're doing there 
I'm going to use some snail on the back. You could pop it up with dimensionals if you want, but I'm just going to choose to use snail. And I liked the um, Daffodil Delight because of the little awning and um, it just kind of made that pop, I think. And I think I might pop this up on dimensionals for the front of the card. Got two packages of dimensionals stuck together. And I'm just going to use four dimensionals, I think. Oops. And then I'm just going to center that a little bit high, just so I know I have enough room to put the sentiment down here at the bottom. And I'm just going to pop the sentiment up using three dimensionals on that. Okay. And then we'll just place that right there at the bottom. And I do think I am going to grab some of my pearls. I'm going to pause really quick. Okay, so I think I'm going to I'm just trying to find my little um, my little stylist. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to use the, I guess this is maybe the medium sized pearls. And I am going to just cover up my little faux pas. And see how easy that is to just hide any of your mistakes that you don't want people to see. We can put one. If I can pick them up, I can put one there. And then I'm going to put one right there in that corner, okay? But I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to go back to my blends. And you could do this before you put them on the card because you want to really be careful that you're not getting it on your card stock. And this is the darker. So I'm just going to be really careful as I'm going around the bottom of that. I would suggest you guys do this before you... Um, now the yellow is not going to show up as well on camera. I'll try to hold it up there in a minute and show you, but you can see it. It's very pretty. Then I'm going to use the lighter of the Rich Razzleberry. I just love that color in the Rich Razzleberry, the light. It is such a pretty shade. Okay, so how does that look, guys? Okay, this is my first card in my um, January free card packet. Visit my blog to see how you can receive these um, so you can make this beautiful card. Thanks, guys.